This video is to go over 13.1, recording a payroll. Um, I just want to, before we get into this one, historically, um, for me, what I've seen is that students usually struggle with this chapter 13. So it's really important that you are watching all the videos for the lecture and the work together and that you are getting all of your homework done and then that you are asking questions as they come up because this can be um, a tricky chapter. So 13.1, we have two objectives. You need to be able to analyze a payroll transa transaction and you need to be able to journalize a payroll, including employee payroll taxes. Salary expense is the total of gross earnings for all employees earning hourly wages, salaries, and commissions. Here they're showing us our payroll register. And so we are seeing, oops, I want to go back there. We are seeing all of our employees' information here. Here we're seeing all of their earnings, all of their deductions, their net pay, and the checks that we wrote. They are just zooming in down here at the bottom where they are showing the total of all of our employees. From this information then, that's bottom row here, that's what we're going to use um, to record our transaction. So salary expense, we are going to debit that for the total amount of earnings. So that's going to be this total earnings of all of our employees. Then we're going to break it down and we're going to credit all of our deductions. And so notice all of these deductions are payable accounts. They are a liability right now. We are not actually paying them. We are just recording what we owe right now. The other thing that I want to point out is federal income tax. The name of that account, when we credit that account, changes to employee income tax payable. So just be aware, federal income tax is employee income tax payable. So we're going to be crediting those accounts for their total deduction for all employees. Now, if we were to leave it like that, our one debit would not equal our credits here. So our last thing that we need to do is we need to credit cash for our net pay. So this net pay is going to be our credit to cash. That's how much we paid to our employees. So here's what the transaction will look like. Paid cash for a semi-monthly payroll, and then they give us the amount that we paid out in cash. That would be our net pay. Then they break it up into our total payroll. That would be our total earnings. And then they give us all of our deductions that we had. And then it says that we use check number 732. So we already looked at those T accounts in the previous slide. Now we are just putting it into our journal. Since we are paying cash, we're writing a check. We are going to go to our cash payments journal. We're going to start with our date. We're going to debit our salary expense. There's our check number that we're going to put in. And there's our debit to our salary expense. Remember, this number is going to be our total earnings. Then we're going to credit cash for our net pay. So that would be this number here. We paid this amount of cash to our employees. And then we are breaking it down into all of our credits for our deductions. Now, when we look at this transaction, yes, we're paying cash to our employees right now, but really what we are doing is we are putting it into a payroll account and then um, we see here these credits to these liabilities. We have not paid these out. We are setting these aside at this point. The, this is all things that are going to go to the government. So right now we are setting it aside. We are not paying that out. So number one, it says what account title is used to journalize the total earnings column of the payroll register. That would be our salary expense. It's an expense of doing business. Paying our employees is an expense. 
Number two, what account title is used to journalize the federal income tax column of the payroll register? Remember on this one, the name changes. So the name um, that we use is employee income tax payable. That's our federal income tax, employee income tax payable. Number three, what account title is used to journalize the social security tax column of the payroll register? This one is easier. Um, the name, all we do here is we add that payable to the end of it. So social security tax payable. Number four, what account title is used to journalize the Medicare tax column of the payroll register? This is just like our Social Security. We're just going to add that payable to the end of it. So Medicare tax payable. Okay, that was the end of 13.1. You can now go to the 13.1 work together.